Well, he's a big supporter of Donald Trump, but somebody in his neighborhood is not. In a matter of weeks, his house has been vandalized and his yard set on fire. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer joins us now. This goes way beyond just disagreeing with somebody, Aaron. It really does, Kelly, and that's why the police are getting involved. Officers say it's fortunate that this man's house didn't catch fire, and officers and the homeowner want the criminal in jail. It's not hard to see who Craig Sarvis is voting for in the 2016 presidential election. Donald Trump. I really like his style. But someone clearly doesn't agree and is letting Sarvis know while breaking the law in the process. It's uh, to the point where it's getting pretty dangerous. It started late last month when a vandal destroyed some Trump 2016 signs Sarvis had around his Clearwater home. So he decided to paint a Trump sign on the side of his house. It's a simple sign, a simple message for uh, supporting Donald Trump. But someone sent Sarvis their own message, spray painting over the sign, damaging his pickup truck and egging his house. But to come and, and start, you know, committing acts of crime and, and vandalizing my personal property has gone way too far. This week, it got downright dangerous. And just kind of zigzags through the yard. The vandal spread some kind of accelerant on his yard and lit it on fire. Thankfully, we live in a humid state and it wasn't able to spread to my house. We would be uh, probably standing in front of a charred structure right here. Police are investigating and say the crimes could rise to a felony. Their message to the criminal. Stop right away because you know you're in this country I think you're allowed freedom of speech you're allowed to support whoever and whatever you want but you're not allowed to just go and vandalize somebody's property I appreciate it thank you Sarvis says his neighbors Republicans and Democrats are supportive and he wants his tormentor to know I'm not going to be intimidated the sign is going to be repainted and I'll continue on and Sarvis is offering his own money, $2,500 of it, to catch whoever did this. He's putting flyers up all around Clearwater, and he plans on getting a security system. Mark?